Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery down here at the ASA Pro-Am in Appling, Georgia. I'm here with elite shooter Darren Christenberry. Darren spoke to us on our blog about judging distance for 3D targets. And one of the questions that you asked us that we didn't ask Darren was, which ones give you the most problems? For you, Darren, which targets that are on the ASA circuit do you have trouble with? At certain times, there's a bunch of them, but you know, two or three that really stick out in my brain, as we talked earlier, the large HD deer. It's the biggest animal we shoot, and for whatever reason, and I know why they do it, when the ASA sets our ranges, they set the little targets way out there because they just wear better. You know, if they set a small target close and the guys are just pounding, they'll shoot the rings out of it, you know, in half yeah. a round. So a lot of times we'll see these big animals 32, 33 yards, and your mind's like, eh, it's probably not that close. Let's put a little more on it. And it's the target you have to 12. You know, when you get inside low yeah. 30s, you need to hit that 12 in, in our division or you're losing points. So, right. um, but taking notes, looking at the animals for a long time, the large HD deer for me, I always overjudge it. I'm thinking, you know, it's probably not that close. I better give it some more. And I'm always hitting center 10, top of the 10. So now when I look at it, I think, you know, is it 43? Could be 44. I'm probably going to shoot it for 42 because I know yeah. the majority of my time I'm overjudging this thing. But then once I set my sight, get the full draw, my gut's going, man, you don't want to shoot Nate low here. So do you put more back on it? So, you know, my, my brain tells me what it should be, but my gut's like, hey, you better play a little safe here. You can't afford to give anything back. So, yeah, yeah. you know, the large HD deer's one of them. The coyote's another one because we see it at long distance a lot and there's no room for air. So I'm always yeah. playing on it a little safer. You know, yeah, it's 46, I'm going to shoot 47 and aim hard at it, or I'm going to shoot 45 and aim up in the 10 good and let it fall a little bit. So yeah, yeah. there's a way to, to manage the course, and uh, the Impala is another one I've learned over the years. No matter what, if it's 24 yards or 44 yards, I add two to it. Whatever my eye sees, yeah, I'm putting two yards on it. I always underjudge it. Practice on it all the time, and I still never get that number right. So I know, judge it for 42, I'm going to shoot it for 44. <laughs> so experience, I guess, good notes, and just you know try to manage the course and limit your mistakes. There you have it, some expert advice from Darren Christianberry. Next time you're on the 3D range, you can give those tips a try.